In this video, we will discuss nerve impulse transmission across the synaptic gap. Like the gaps between the Schwann cells on an insulated axon, a gap called a synapse or synaptic cleft separates the axon of one neuron and the dendrites of the next neuron. Neurons don't touch. The signal must traverse the synapse to continue on its path through the nervous system. Electrical conduction carries an impulse across synapses in the brain. But in other parts of the body, impulses are carried across synapses as the following chemical changes occur. At the end of the axon from which the impulse is coming, the membrane depolarizes. As sodium ion gates open and sodium ions rush into the axonal bulb, gated calcium ion channels also open and calcium ions are allowed to enter the cell as well. The calcium ions stimulate contractile proteins to pull the neurotransmitter vesicles to the presynaptic membrane. The neurotransmitter vesicles fuse with the presynaptic membrane and the neurotransmitter is released from the vesicle into the synaptic gap by a process called exocytosis. The neurotransmitter then diffuses across the synapse and binds to receptor sites on the postsynaptic membrane. If enough neurotransmitter is present, the action potential will continue on to the next neuron. After the neurotransmitter produces its effect, whether it's excitation or inhibition, the receptor releases it and the neurotransmitter goes back into the synapse. Enzymes degrade the neurotransmitter and recycle the chemicals to be used again.